Look at this question here. You are asked to find the value of angle X. And they say line PQ is parallel to line RS. How can you find this? And you're giving this angle to be 70 degree and this one to be 230 degree. What should we do here? The first thing you should do, though there is two ways you can solve these questions. Let's try the first way. Let's first find this angle here. What's the value of this angle here? We don't know, but we know this is point here. Let's use the rule that says the sum of angles around a point is equal to 360 degree. So that means this whole angle here around this point is 360 degree. This one is given as 230 degrees. So we can go ahead and remove this one from 360 degrees. So we're going to have 360 degree minus 230 degree is 130 degree. So that means this angle here is 130 degree. Find the value of this angle. But how can we relate it to this? The procedure we can use here is to draw another parallel line. Another line that is parallel to PQ and RS. Let's label it angle line AB. That means this line AB is parallel to line RS and is also parallel to line PQ. So, if you look here, this line here is intersecting this line at this point and this line at this point and both lines are parallel so that means this angle here is alternating to this angle that means here is also 70 degree here so we we'll find the value of this angle recall we we'll find the value of this whole angle from here to here to be 130 degrees so to find this other angle here we have 180 degree minus 70 degree which equals to 60 degree. So this angle here is 60 degree. We find this angle to be 60 degree. What about angle X here? How can we find them? If you also look here, this line is also intersecting this line PQ and intersecting line AB at the same time. And the two lines are parallel to each other. So that means this angle is alternating to this angle. That means this angle is equal to this angle. So therefore, Angle X is also equal to 60 degree. Simple and straightforward.